something I struggle with a lot is um, when I'm like more like when I wake up in the night now, I will be like sort of enshrouded in thoughts, like my brain will be working. And I just wondered, um, do you ever give yourself quiet time during the day where you're not at the computer, you're not watching anything, you're not like you're there's no like stimulation you're just like your thoughts are allowed to run um that's a good question definitely when i'm walking if i'm walking somewhere i prefer to have no music i can just like clear my mind think about stuff i think when i'm at home I do sometimes, but it's normally like I've just finished watching something or like what I've doing is stopped or I just wanted a break so I just lie down. That's one of the benefits of being here, it's literally like the bed's there, I'm just going to lie down at any option. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing there, like quiet times? Um. Some like, occasionally, but not as much as I feel I should. And the only reason I think of it is because um, I struggle quite a bit with like when I go to bed, like that's when the anxieties come up because it's the only time where there's no sort of stimulation. Um, so it's like the brain is allowed to just come up with random thoughts. And just for me personally, I get really like stuck in those thoughts and. Um, I have heard like giving yourself quiet time during the day allows you to like you like you sort of, like giving yourself permission for that to happen earlier on in the day so it doesn't happen at night time and it saves like it stops a build up there'll be less at night time like you've emptied yeah. out some of the thoughts yeah yeah just like that really I, I feel just like my thoughts are normally quite thought low <laughs> low so it's not something you really have to think about like yeah having like too many thoughts <laughs> it's normally like one at a time i've had it when uh, like a year ago when things went bad all that sort of stuff when there's pressure on to do stuff but the work of go ape like <laughs> there's no pressure there so that was good for clearing it out and i feel like i've got back to how i was before, in a way, where it's like, it's nice and relaxed. If I want, I can deal with stuff, but most of the time, it's just nice and level. Okay. I've been finding, um, well, I've been talking to the camera a lot, and I've been finding that quite helpful for just, like, talking through my problems and that. I think it's quite, I think it's kind of the same thing, really, because I just sit in here there's no sounds or anything and just talk to the camera instead of thinking it in my head i just you can just split it out it. and like yeah <laughs> help process it yeah i think so yeah i definitely i do that a lot but it's normally like not recent things i'm thinking about it's old things realizing like oh maybe this is the reason done yeah. I mean, Ben has some very interesting ideas. Like our friend Ben. He. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to him a lot about it. He's basically saying. He's been breathing into the back of his head, which. <laughs> a funny exercise to try. He's talking about, like, okay. the frontal lobes stimulating the back more. There was a lot of information. But from what I got from it, it's like, like you're breathing in, it goes through, the energy sort of goes to the ground and then spreads out to the world. I barely okay. understood what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really intense I'm a bit stuff, confused. But, yeah. I don't get breathing into the back of your head. It did. Like, I couldn't do it. I tried it a bunch and I realised I was just doing like bracing what to getting ready to pick up some weights yeah, like <laughs> filling your abdomen 
That's just breathing into your stomach. Yeah, I couldn't do the... Uh, but he's been finding it real helpful. He learned about a few days ago, and he's been doing it for, like, cleansing thoughts and, like, resetting... It sounds like it... Benefit. It sounds like it's like a form of meditation, like because uh, a lot of what they sort of teach you is to um, just focus on your breath. Yeah. yeah. And then the idea would be, if you get distracted, you acknowledge like, okay, I'm not thinking about my breath. I'm thinking about whatever shits in my head. Now let's go back to the breath. And, and then every time that happens, some... like holding that... on to that moment. Right. So like he'd breathe it in, he would meditate, like there'd be a good 20 seconds where he's just like, like he's just silent, he's breathing. It looks like he's going from some, through some stuff inside. <laughs> and then he'll come okay. back and like, almost like, do you know what a mantra is? Like A you, mantra? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. that's a bit wrong. <laughs> he's almost got one of those, because of his musical background, he's been doing... Like, do, re, mi, fa, so. Oh, yeah. He's been saying that in, like, a way... It works for him. It helps remind him of stuff. It was interesting. Like, it was real hard to understand. Like, to... Because when he first went onto the topic, I was just like, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured it out in the end, but there was just a lot of questions, like, I don't fully understand it. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's... It's helping, I guess. It's just a way of redirecting your your concentration, I guess, your attention away from what you don't want to be thinking about and towards something you do. And then when he That's comes it back, like. it's like he's back in the moment. Like he's come, he's overcome those thoughts of like past stuff, process. Yeah. It's like he's back, and it's like cleansed out. It was cool to try, but I don't fully understand it. <laughs>